Hello, I'm Mother Kelly, and I'm so glad you've joined me. This is Good Shepherd Chapel. It is a time that we draw close to Jesus, the one who said, I am the Good Shepherd. We are in a season called Epiphany. Say that word again, Epiphany. This is a season when we celebrate Jesus, who is the light of the world. We call him the Good Shepherd. We call him the light of the world. How can Jesus be the light of the world? Let's open with a song. I've got some sign language, so watch carefully. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. Serve, serve is this. Serve. Okay, you ready? Serve him, serve him, serve him in the morning, serve him in the noontime, serve him, serve him, serve him when the sun goes down. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime, love him, love him. Love him when the sun goes down. And praise is this. Point to your mouth and then clap, clap. Okay, praise. Praise him, praise him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noontime. Praise him, praise him. Praise him when the sun goes down. Good job. We'll continue and remember that there are words you say, words I say, words we say together. So your next words will be, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Try that. All right, I'll begin. Lord, open our lips. Okay, together. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Today, we're going to look at the country where Jesus lived. So let's start with the globe. There's a globe behind me on the table. Can you see it? globe is a model of the earth. This is a model of the earth that we all live on. The blue is all of the water on the earth. And the brown or the tan that you see is all of the land parts on the earth. Land and sea. All of this God made. How much he loves the world. He made it so beautiful, didn't he? This is the earth. We can find where we live on a globe. Let's look for where Texas is. See this big country? Two countries. Texas is right about here. It's a big land, isn't it? So we live here, but I'm going to show you where Jesus lived. Watch. You have to go across the water. It's a long way to travel. There's another big piece of land. That's not where Jesus was born. Here we are. 
I wonder if you can see this tiny red dot. Do you see that? That is the country of Israel. Say that with me. Israel. Mm -hmm. And that is the country where Jesus was born and lived. What a tiny, tiny place that is. I wonder why God would have his son, Jesus, to be born in such a tiny, tiny place. Israel, the tiny dot we call Israel, the place where Jesus was born. We can find the word Israel in the Holy Bible. We read about it a lot in the Bible. Let's listen to some words about Israel. We'll light a candle first to remind us that all of God's words are like light. They help us to see things in a new way. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime. Love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. This is from Isaiah chapter 60. Listen. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise, and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night, they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. The word of the Lord. We say, thanks be to God. I wonder what words you heard in that passage from the Bible. Did you hear the words, the Holy One of Israel? Israel, the country where Jesus was born and lived. Holy, holy is a word that describes God. The Holy One of Israel. Jesus lived in Israel. I wonder then if he could be the Holy One of Israel. I wonder if you remember the words at the very beginning. Arise, shine, for your light has come. We celebrate that the light has come in Jesus on Christmas Day. And we can celebrate it every day in between, from one Christmas to the next. Arise, shine, for your light has come. My light has come. We celebrate Jesus the light together. I wonder if you would like to see some pictures of Israel today. I chose some pictures of children who live in Israel. They're called Israeli children, just like you are called an American child. These are Israeli children. Let's look together. The first picture is of some boys. They look like they might be brothers. They're holding hands and they're wearing backpacks. Children in Israel, Israeli children, go to school just like we do, just like you do. It looks very green there, doesn't it? 
the trees behind them. They're wearing sandals and shorts. It's a warm place, just like Austin, just like Texas. The country of Israel has many beaches. This next picture shows some children having fun on the beach. Here's another picture of a different kind of fun just off the beach in the waves. You see some boogie boards, surfboards. They have waves there, just like we have on the Gulf Coast. Maybe some of maybe you have been. And this last picture shows children in Israel praying. They pray to God just like you do, just like I do. Let's continue our prayers together. Your responses, and also with you, I'll begin. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 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 That was the Lord's Prayer, the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Someone wrote some music to it, so I sing it but you don't have to sing it. Well, let's continue. I wonder what you are thankful for today. Thanks be to God. Anything else? Is there anyone, any person that you are thankful for today? Thanks be to God. Or if you know anybody who has a birthday today, or this week. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing of this person who celebrates their birthday this week. I wonder if there's anybody else we could pray for. Who has God put on your heart today to pray for? God loves them too, just as much as he loves you Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. I'm going to close the speaking part of our prayer time together with the line, let us bless the Lord, and then you say, thanks be to God. Okay? Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Well, let's close with Day by Day. It's been a while since we've sung that song. It's the prayer that St. Richard taught us to pray. That's the name of the church where I go, St. Richard. It might be the name of the church where you go. Let's sing it together. If you don't know the hand actions, you can learn them from me or just make some up of your own. Ready? Day by day, dear Lord, of thee three things I pray to see thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, follow thee more nearly. Day by day, day by day. I'm glad you joined me today. God bless you and have a great week, and I hope to see you again soon.